Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be decorating this birdhouse. First, I'm going to take this sanding block and I'm just going to go around the whole house just sanding the bits of wood. And I'm also going to take the sticker off. Next, I rolled some clay on my pasta machine and I'm going to cut the strip into some little squares. After that, I'm taking some bacon bond and I'm just putting it on the roof of the birdhouse. And I'm going to also take my silicone tool and I'm just going to brush it around so it gets the whole roof. Right now I'm just going to be making the roof texture, so I'm going to place all of the little squares onto um, each of the roofs. So since there's like three little houses, I will be doing that to the roof. This is what all of the roofs look like when they're all done and after that I'm just going to do the same technique on the wall but this time I'm using larger rectangles so I don't have to be like fiddly with the smaller ones and it will take less time. So this is what it looks like when it's all done. After the whole thing is baked, I'm taking some gesso and I'm just covering the whole thing so it'll be easier for when I add the acrylic paint. So this is what the whole thing looks like when it's all primed. Obviously you don't have to do this, but I thought it was easier. And now I'm going to take some green paint and I'm just going to paint the walls of the house first. I ended up doing so many coats that aren't on camera because it ended up all like streaky and stuff. So this is what it looks like. I think it's the second or first coat. I think it's the first coat. And it looks really nice so far and now I'm going to paint the roof a dark green and I mixed both colors up and I mixed a lot so I would have extra and it looks really nice so I have the whole thing painted and I did a few coats on all the thingies so it's one uniform color so what I plan on doing is um, I want grass on like the outside and on the inside of the fence. So I found this stuff um, in my drawer or whatever, and it's from the dollar store. It's like this moss sheet thing. So what I plan on doing is I'm gonna cut out like a half an inch strips and then I'm gonna put them all around and then cut a square on the inside. And I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna come back while I'm gluing because this stuff gets really messy when I cut it. So yeah, I'll see you then. I super glued the grass stuff in, if you can see. It's incredibly messy. I did it all wrong. 
And I'm gonna have to touch up the paint over here since I didn't get that part. But yeah, this is what it looks like so far. I need um, some flowers, some mushrooms, and some like rocks. I did these off camera because I wanted to um, focus on making them and not like recording. But I will record me um, placing these on. So I plan on putting these um, around the house, so like by the fence area. And then um, I'll put like the mushrooms inside, he inside here and also around. I'm not sure how the size is with this, but yeah, it looks something like that. And then later I will um, film me making like the larger things. So I plan on making an owl and putting it on one of the um, pegs. And then I also wanted to make a crystal snail, a worm, and possibly a chibi. I haven't decided what I wanted to do yet, but we'll figure that out. Right now I'm adding all of the figures onto the house. And I'm using super glue and I absolutely hate super glue just as much as I hate hot glue and my fingers were all like glued afterwards because they're it kept getting everywhere and I I got so much glue on my fingers that the one of the mushrooms kept sticking to me and it was obviously so annoying so right now I'm making the owl and I didn't like film the whole thing so I just filmed like different snippets Making an owl is pretty easy, and then I just placed it here. So I ended up um, making this flower girl chibi. Um, it's not like the best thing I've made, but it will work for um, this project. So I also found um, these like moss stones at the dollar store. So I'm just going to um, put this in here like that. And then I'm gonna glue her in like this. So she stands on like inside the fence area. So I'm gonna do that right now. So this is the final birdhouse. I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you guys next week with a new video. Bye.